A Moment in Naval History. Though slavery was still legal in the American South, by 1807, importing slaves into the United States was not. So it fell to the young and relatively undermanned U.S. Navy to enforce the law, stopping ruthless slave traders who still found willing buyers among Southern plantation owners. Despite the wide expanse of ocean it had to patrol off the continents of Africa and North America, the Navy claimed more than 100 victories. Most were in the years leading up to the Civil War. 6 June 1850, the Brig Perry, commanded by Lieutenant Andrew Foote, captured the American slaver Martha off the coast of Angola. On 21 September 1858, the sloop Niagara departed Charleston, South Carolina for Africa, returning 200 Africans liberated from the slave brig Echo off Cuba by USS Dolphin. On 21 December 1859, USS Constellation captured the American slaver Delicia. 6 May 1860, the sloop of war Portsmouth, commanded by John Calhoun, captured the slaver brig Falmouth off Porta Praia. On 26 September 1860, the Constellation, commanded by J.S. Nicholas, captured the American slaver Cora with 705 slaves on board off the Congo River. The newly freed slaves were taken back to the continent. 21 April 1861, on the eve of war, the Saratoga, commanded by Alfred Taylor, captured Nightingale, a clipper slaver at the mouth of the Congo River, with 961 slaves on board. Slavery in America would end four years later, in part due to the heroic efforts of former slaves who joined the U.S. Navy and helped win the war at sea.